The Remarkable Mrs. Cox by Ewan Ropes. Emily Cox in conversation with her late husband Lenny during the coronavirus lockdown. Part two, our queen and our Stephanie. Hello, mate. First off, I must tell you, I watched Lizzie last night and her brung a lump to me throat. Sprightly young thing she is at 93. Eight years younger than me. <laughs> Wondered if she'll send herself a telegram when she joins the three-figure club. Wondrous speech, though. Just the right tone. Made me feel I was together with everyone, not just here on me own. And to top it all, I says, we'll meet again. Well, I was singing me head off and sobbing at the same time. Reminded me of our Winnie banging it out on the front room, Joanna. After we'd all come out of the Anderson, that night King's Norton got flattened in the Blitz. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Except we were never going to meet again, were we, mate? Well, not this side of Peter's waiting room. Loads of folks must be feeling better after listening. I told our Stephanie to listen. Hope she did. She rang me about an hour or four. I was watching summit about sharks. I like the nature programmes. Any road, Stephanie, she was the first born of Gladys, or one of the twins, other being Doris, of course. Rang to cheer me up, she said. Well, all she did was go on about how terrible the news was and that her neighbour's cousin had been taken in and was on one of them bent a watch em call its I said, Stephanie, your great granddad, my Lenny, always said when someone come out with summit like that, I once knew a man who once knew a man who saw purple losses riding by. Her paused to cop her breath, and it was obvious she don't have a clue what I was on about. So, I said... Worry about what you know, not what you don't. Fix what you can. Forget about what you can't. Family first, our Steph. Family first. You worry about your Olivia. I am, grand grands. I am. It says, doing it that full on brummaging whinge. Olivia's pregnant, see, and I knew what was coming next. So I says, now, Stephanie, before you go off on what's occurring, just remember I had three on you in 39, 40 and 41, with bums dropping and all sorts. Doreen, our last one, Lenny, and the one you never got to hold. She come out in the shelter with Mrs Patton from number 46, acting as midwife with a bucket of water and a towel wrapped up in a water bottle. So, I conclude as forcefully as I can, whatever your Olivia's facing at them maternity what's-its, make sure she does it joyously, like a cox allers does. Why, when her babby's time comes in a few months, it'll be real cuddles again, yo mark my words. I think I sorted her head out. Hope so, anyway. Night, Lenny. Daft, I oh know, but I feel you're actually here tonight. Love you, mate. The Remarkable Mrs Cox is a Ewan Rose Reviews production, starring Pat Dixon-Dale as Emily Cox, music by Adrian Kimberlin, and produced by Phil Brown.